is Brittany Savage and Maria. I have a feeling that this is gonna be something very interesting here. Absolutely. As you got Maria on one end, Jillian on the other. consider them to be the mo given the most exposure and with us at ringside now the radiant Becky Bayless oh the radiant Becky Bayless. hey Shugs what's going on pleasure to meet you my name is Peter Rosenberg I'm excited to have you at ringside you look great. you heard much about you the pleasure is all mine do tell me I want to know what you've heard was it about my sexual conquests Kind of the opposite. Oh, okay. Well, Maybe your inadequacies. Oh, but. my sexual inadequacies. Okay. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the yes. beautiful girls in the ring right now. Well, These are four gorgeous, talented women we have. And they've absolutely. So tell me. Look, being the fans a, are obviously behind Maria and Brittany. Well, I mean, it's absolutely. There's always a lot we behind. Have four beautiful women, but it's obvious that the fans are behind Maria and Brittany. These two beautiful women. What do you, Becky? What do you expect to see in a match like this? You being an, an incredible professional wrestler yourself, what do you expect to see here? I don't know if incredible is the word incredible. I would use, but I appreciate the uh, compliment. I expect to see the girls a lot of times feel like they have more to prove. Absolutely. But a lot of times the girls will hit harder than the guys. You know, they, they work harder to be respected, and they know they have to be tougher both mentally and physically. So here's four girls. Um, Jillian and Maria obviously have proved themselves time and time again. You know, they were big stars in OB for many years. And here's two younger girls in Brittany and Rebby who are fighting their way up the ranks and really are doing a great job of making a name for themselves. So I'm looking for the two, you know, the two of Brittany and Rebby to look to make their name and be kind of guided by their tag partners, the more experienced girls. What are you expecting to see? I'm glad you asked. You know, I, I think that's how you actually made a great point. I think I think both young girls, Brittany and Rebby, are going to try to take advantage of this situation. It's very special. But I will tell you, you know, you look at the last couple of years, and it's possible that Rebby may have more experience than anyone in this ring. She's been in a lot of matches. Maybe she, she may have done more work the last couple of years than Maria has. And I haven't seen Maria work in quite, a, in quite a little while, so I'm excited to see what Maria has. I do believe that Maria just started wrestling again after taking a hiatus in the past few months. And, you know, Maria is definitely a wonderful character, has always had a ton of fan support. She's just a lovable person. You know, I, I consider Maria a friend. If you know her personally, you know, she, it's impossible not to love Maria. She's so lovable. The fans love her. Everybody works with her, loves her. Oh. And look at that. That was seriously some athleticism we just saw. But now Maria's Mr. looking to prove herself. She never had really much of a chance. She's working, you know, on the independent scene. She's the first lady of Ring of Honor. Feels like she has something to prove, and I think we're seeing that right now. Well said, Becky. I couldn't agree more. That was actually two, about two or three new moves that I've already seen from Maria that I've not seen from her in the past. Maybe some of the uh, Ring of Honor wrestling styles rubbing off on her. And I have shown her a few things here and there. Oh, is that so? That is so. Vintage Julie. We won't tell her boyfriend. No. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Becky, how dare you? That's my mind. My mind's always in the gutter. Oh Trying to get Pete beaten up. Okay. Oh. Well, that's not a weave because that weave would come right out. But I believe that is all real. I believe everything on Maria is all real. Really? I, as so far that, as I know. So that makes well, a gorgeous woman, obviously blessed by God. That just Beautiful. makes your boyfriend really lucky. We have some some double teaming action. Oh, uh, Becky, again, there you go, talking about double teaming and yeah, what's Well, I don't know if Jillian and Rebby have worked together in Lucha Libre, but it looks like they have a serious game plan going. See, Beck, the thing I need to ask you is, when it comes to being a female athlete in redemption, I mean... We're using the word athlete loosely, but... The, the last show, one of the main criticisms was a match that involved Rebby Sky, as well as two other local talent. <laughs> And now it seems that she's come out here with, it's beyond something to prove just based on her sex. It's like it's something to prove based on one bad match does not make a wrestler either way. Oh, not at all. We all have bad matches. I've been doing this on and off for 10 years. Everyone has a bad match. Everyone has a bad day. Sometimes you're just off your game. But every, you know, anyone who knows Rebby or is familiar with her career knows that she's been training very hard with some of the best in the business. And Rebby is someone who wants it and is always constantly striving and trying to get better. You know, and it, it shows a lot. When you have a bad match, sometimes it's hard to come back in front of the same crowd. Because you see come in with something funny. And it can only help Rebby working with girls as experienced as Jillian and Maria. And Rebby is someone who wants to learn every time she's in the 
can only benefit by the I'll tell you guys, I'm a little surprised right now. I didn't I didn't think that I would see Maria Canellas being the one who's struggling, hoping to get a tag to her younger partner, Brittany Savage. Well, but it's it's Maria who finds herself stuck in a bit of uh, trouble with Jillian Hall. Well, there's all it's kind of been a two on one situation so far. You know, Jillian and Ruffy had a game plan coming in. They really this. have. They've they kept Maria in their corner. But yeah, they, it's been some excellent tag team work. They know as a tag team, they're working together beautifully. I have to think they definitely work together in the Libre USA. They had to have because these girls just not seem like the first time working together. They know what they're doing. Maria is so close to the tag, but she looks at, she's out of it. I think she doesn't, she doesn't even know where she is right now. She's so close right there, but she's obviously out of her wits. And the, as they wrestle, I can tell you that does happen. So when you're not loopy, you don't even know where you are in the ring. And she didn't even realize her tag partner was right there. And that really Sometimes you end up going on autopilot, and the unfortunate thing is you don't know where your autopilot will take you or what it will do. And the crowd wants to see Brittany in there right now. They want to see Brittany. They want to see her beat these two girls out. It's, there, there will always be a love of the homegrown talent that may or may not ever get to see that big stage, that, that national TV audience who's going out here, you know, for basically gas money and the love of the game. And it's times like that where maybe the girl who has the 2,500 or more guarantees, I don't want to say half, you know, half in it, but at the same time, doesn't have as much to prove as a, Re a Rebby Sky or a Britney Savage. But the thing is, we're not even seeing that. The girls that have already proved themselves, they the are. Busting their butt. And by the way, it, finally Maria gets the tag to Britney Savage, oh. who comes in and is working Brittany's with. Britney's cleaning house right now. Brittany. And I've wrestled Britney Savage quite a few times. Let me tell you, she might be tiny. She's a cute little blonde girl, but that girl, she's taken me to the limit several times. Actually, the one who ever got knocked out in the match was by Britney Savage. Really? But let me tell you, Britney. She's, uh, she's got a big punch in a tiny package. There she goes, cross body oh. for the top rope, tries to get the pin. Oh, and, and that was up so by close. Sky. Again, the, the tag team work by Rebby and Jillian. They've got each other's backs as a tag team. I mean, you have to. They're on that game. And, you know, for, I don't want to say a thrown together tag team, but for people who don't tag often, there's a certain fluidness in what they're doing that if I didn't know oh, that. Oh, wait, we're about to see oh. some tag team. Oh, look at this. As, as someone would say, vintage Maria Canellis, vintage. Wow. And she would have taught Brittany a thing or two. But excellent teamwork by the two ladies. Absolutely. I mean, you got to also keep in mind, and as ridiculous as this sounds, anatomy, you can't Wait, hit a girl. More cheating, up. more cheating by Rebby. But uh oh, uh oh. That's, yeah. And see, that's the thing. Rebby, yeah. she's also learned how to be crafty. Manipulative is not the word. Crap, the only other hand is because... Hey, sometimes that's more important than anything. Is oh, with the roll-up real quick. Oh, and wow. Jillian just stole the pin. Well, that's what you got to call. And that's what I would call vintage Jillian Hall. Thank you so much, Becky, for coming to hang out. Thank you for having me, gentlemen.